Good morning, my name is Rob Gregory with Gregory Polaris. First thing I want to point out is I don't have my mask on for the purposes of making this video. Steve is with me and Eric is with me, so we're going to social distance while we're making this video. So 27 years ago, uh, we decided we wanted to be a little bit different. Um, we decided we were going to sell the American brand. We also decided we were going to make it easier and not pounce on you when you showed up and walked through our door. So this front counter right here looks like a disaster because it is where everything happens. When you call, these guys answer the phone. I'm not a receptionist. Whenever you want to park, you come in the front door, you want to park, you call, you want to park. These guys are the ones that do that. They are your sales guys, they are your finance guys. So. Just so you know, when you get here, we're not going to pounce on you. We want you to be comfortable. We want you to look around. We'll get to you whenever uh, we can, as fast as we can. But we're not going to be there within three seconds wanting to know your name, phone number, and social. Not going to happen. So one of the things about Polaris that I love is they have a value model. It's called the Sportsman 450. When I say value, it's an extreme value. Now, in the 400 segment, all of the brands make a 400, 420, 450, and you notice that says 450 on it. We don't actually have a 450 motor. We have a 500 motor, so they just put it in the 450. Great value. Another value on this, when we start talking about four-wheel drive, is it four-wheel drive? Is the one you have four-wheel drive? Is the one you're looking at four-wheel drive? So there's a red brand out there that's got a four-by-four sticker on it. It's not four-wheel drive. If you get stuck on that ATV, the red one, um, the front wheel that is on the ground won't spin. The front wheel that is on the that is in the air and has no traction is the wheel that spins. The other companies uh, recognized that because they were using the same thing. So they started making a diff lock system. The diff lock is really confusing. You got a lot to do, a lot of levers, slide over, push a button. Uh, that's, that's awesome that you got a, 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 the last chance fail safe to get out. But the problem is, is there's no steering and it may or may not work in reverse and you're limited in what speed you can go to begin with in that. And because of that diff lock, you wouldn't have gone in that situation and rode it in that diff lock because there's no steering. The other type of four wheel drive system that's out there is called Visco, and that's usually gonna be seen on the yellow brand. Visco, in our opinion, is a jack in the box. When I say jack in the box, it's a wind up process. You just don't know when jack's coming out. So on that brand, if you spin out two, it, it, one wheel's gonna work in the front. While you're waiting on the other wheel, you have to turn anywhere from two to eight revolutions uh, before jack's gonna uh, come out and play. So the eight revolutions dug you deeper. Now Polaris all wheel drive since the 80s uh, the all-wheel drive is superior and of course it's patented. That's why they don't have it The all-wheel drive. Let me give you an idea If the all-wheel drive button is on now you can take it off if you want to play uh, And get your little curly cues going on you can but when the all-wheel drive button is on If you imagine the rear wheel being a clock if that spins to three and it does not push the front wheel at the same speed then on demand all wheels are going to drive. That's the way it works. Now, it's going to be for that throttle that it's on demand. If at any time you let off the gas, give it gas, and the rear pushes the front at the same speed, the it's not demanding that it be all wheel drive. So you can actually leave that button on uh, the life of the, of the machine if that's what you want to do. And the four wheel drive system will work on demand and all four wheels work and you can actually steer it when all four are on. Um, we believe this is the best value for your money because all of them are in the same exact segment 
And whenever you shop for what Polaris can give you on this ATV, you'll understand why. Or just come and see us first. Steve's got some new updates for this year's model that he's want to, want to get to show you about. All right, so for 21, uh, some of the things they've done is on the front rack, they gave you a front rack extender. And there's other options that are available. You can get a rear rack extender, front and rear bumpers, winch. Those are all accessory options that you can get from us. Uh, but in addition to that, underneath here, they have moved the battery that was down on the frame up top here just to make it a lot more convenient. Also, you'll see on each side you have storage, and if water happens to get in here, you do have drain plugs that could drain that out for you. With the battery being up top, they also added a charging port for you. So trickle charge your battery. Also new for 21 is on your headlights. In the past, you know, you had your low beam, but if you switch to high beam, it took off your low beam. But now when you switch up to high beam, you get all your headlights working. Now, another thing I want to talk about that actually Polaris have been doing for years is on their braking system. This isn't new for 21, like I said, they've been doing it for a long time, but a single lever braking system, four wheel hydraulic disc brake, all the brakes. So with that, just think about if your car had two brake levers, you know, which one are you going to use before you see that you're about to get into an accident? So it's just a great system to go with. You know, Steve, whenever I'm out in Colorado, that is fatal. If you're riding with the, and you, and you choose the wrong uh, brake lever, you know, in the hills that are out there, if you're coming down a steep hill and inexperienced uh, rider or an emergency situation and you grab the wrong brake lever and you grab the front brake, that rear end's gonna swap places and it's not pretty. Yeah, it's not gonna end well. One brake lever is extremely safe for your family. You know, if it was better the other way, they'd put two brake pedals in a car. Right. But one brake pedal in a car, one brake lever is the safest uh, for your family. Eric's got some other stuff he wants to point out. All right, on this 450, you know, Rob pointed out a minute ago that we don't actually have a 450 motor. We have a 500cc motor in this. What that does, 499cc, you get 33 horsepower with this thing. You know, off-road, pulling anything, comes with an inch and a quarter receiver hitch, you can pull 1,350 pounds. Uh, that 33 horsepower really helps with that. As you got the camera down there, you notice all that ground clearance. The 450 comes with 11 and a half inches of ground clearance. As Rob was talking about the red brand, their 420 has 7.2 inches of ground clearance. That's a pretty big difference when you're off-road going over logs, ruts, anything like that. I know going out to my deer stand, I've got some pretty good ruts that I need that full 11 and a half inches of ground clearance. Four inches matter. It does. Oh, you it take does. four inches. Plus, you take that 33 horses where the, where the other ATVs in that class are going to be uh, mid-20s to low-20s in horsepower. Right. I mean, you combine that, uh, the horsepower with the ground clearance, with the uh, with the true, all four wheels are going to actually work. That's what, you're, that's what you're trying to buy whenever you buy one. You combine that and, and then the, that 500 motor, it's the best value. It is. And not only mention 11 and a half inch ground clearance, you're getting a 25 inch six ply tire yep. compared to a 24 inch tire. Better puncture resistant. Yeah, six ply on a 25. The 450 Sportsman, great value, great machine. Come down, check one out, sit on one. Come by and check them out. This is gonna be the machine I think you're really gonna be interested in. Uh, we're at Gregory Polaris. 14106 Highway 107, Jacksonville, Arkansas. Give us a call, 501 834 0344. Ask for Steve, myself, Adam, TJ, Lance, Rob. Any of us can help you out, as Rob said, we do it all here. Uh, come on by, check them out. Rob, you got anything to finish up with? Hey, I thank you for your business for the last 27 years, and I look forward to meeting you. Have a great day. Stay safe.